Peach, where us? Hi, I'm Nidge, and here's what I'd look like if I was a planet. Our planet is amazing. So far, Earth is the only place in the universe that we know of where life exists. To celebrate that, here are the five things I think we need to know about our planet to help keep everything in perspective. First up, human lives are tiny in both size and time. The average human weighs around 62 kilograms. There are seven and a half billion people in the world today. So the total weight of all of humanity is around 500 billion kilograms, which is less than the water in Sydney Harbour, which is itself less than 0.000000001% of the mass of our planet, which itself is only one three hundred thousandth of the mass of the sun, which is only one of 10 to the 24-ish stars in our universe. The second thing to know about Earth is that humans as a species haven't been here for very long a little more than 300,000 years, which is less than 0.01% of the time that life has existed on Earth. If the time that life has been on Earth was 24 hours, humans have only been around for the last eight seconds. Life on Earth has lived 99.99% of its time without us, and would likely go on without us in the future until the sun explodes in another four billion years. And did you know, research from 2017 indicates humans reached Australia at least 65,000 years ago. The study pushed that number back from previous estimates of about 50,000 years ago. OK, the third thing I reckon we should know about our planet is that it and everything on it is made of stardust, including you and me. The solar system was born about 4.6 billion years ago after a supernova exploded massive amounts of gas and dust into space. This gas and dust coalesced to form our sun and its eight planets, including Earth and everything on it. Our bodies are literally made up from the dust from a dead star. A new radio telescope being built in Australia is looking back in time to the stars that were around when our stardust was exploded. The Square Kilometre Array will be the world's largest radio telescope. We joined the project in 2012 with thousands of antennas set to be built in the centre of a giant radio quiet zone in Western Australia. Earth's inner core is a lump of solid iron and nickel floating in a sea of molten metal called the outer core. This inner core is spinning around like a dynamo, generating a massive but slowly drifting magnetic field. It's an incredible thing for our planet, allowing us to find north with our compasses, giving us our auroras and extending with strength more than 50,000 kilometres into space. A 2015 analysis of iron oxide and super old zircon minerals from the Aussie outback showed our magnetic field has been around for a little over 4.2 billion years. But all that spinning of the Earth's core isn't completely stable, meaning our magnetic poles are moving all the time and flip every couple of million years. The next magnetic flip could cause mayhem with our satellites, electricity systems and animal migrations. Which brings us to the fifth fact. Things can go majorly wrong on Earth, making our uniquely habitable planet very uninhabitable very quickly. Some of the most likely candidates include the magnetosphere flipping, or an asteroid striking, or a supervolcano erupting. In 2015, the world's largest chain of supervolcanoes was discovered along the eastern flank of Australia. They're dormant now, but might not necessarily remain that way forever. Our world is a marvellously destructive place. OK, so I can't leave you on such a sad note. So one more bonus fact to help keep your chin up. The Earth has its very own special planetary protection officer. Nah, it's not me. It's a new position at NASA focusing on protecting our planet from things like microbial contamination and maybe also aliens, and also to protect other planets from us. Catch you next time.